Head Itch is Misha Lee McChrystal. Hi, my name is Lee McChrystal and I've been Irish dancing for over 20 years. Over these years, I've achieved success both competitively and professionally, having won a world championship and been able to tour the world performing in shows. Irish dancing is deep rooted in Irish culture and modern day Irish step dancing is said to have originated in the late 19th century, early 20th century as a complement to the wonderful traditional Irish music. Irish step dancing, also known as solo dancing, can be differentiated from other forms of Irish dance, such as Cayley dancing, set dancing and Shanos. Today, I would like to show you two traditional Irish step dances, the jig and the reel. Before we begin, you might want to consider wearing comfortable clothing that you would ordinarily use to exercise in and choose appropriate footwear such as trainers or plimsolls. Let's begin! To demonstrate for us today, we have two-time Ulster champion Barry Tegg from Dromore. We're going to begin with the jig, specifically the light jig, as this dance is performed in a soft shoe. Most dances are composed of a lead round and two steps. We shall start our movements with the lead round. But before we start any movements, it is important to look at the correct stance for an Irish dancer. Feet must be turned out before, during and after each dance and dancers must remain as high up on their toes as possible. Arms must stay by the dancer's side at all times, unless dancing keely, in which arms are required to move in order to complete the various movements. Dancers must also keep a straight posture at all times and not have any upper body movements. To begin a dance, the dancers must point their toe. In competition, there is eight bars of music intro before dancers commence their performance. As we start the lead round of the light jig, we are going to bring our right leg up past the left knee in front and then behind towards the back, then bringing it forward again, stepping to the ground and finishing with one, two, three steps. Right, left, then right. Let's have another look at that movement. Bring the right leg up in front, past the left knee, then behind towards the back, then bring it forward again, stepping to the ground and finishing with one, two, three steps. Right, left, then right. Moving on, this movement is now repeated on the left foot. So we bring our left foot up past the right knee in front and then behind towards the back and then bring it forward again, stepping to the ground, finishing with one, two, three steps. Left, right then left. This movement is then repeated again on the right foot. So let's take a look at what we've learned so far and try to put a hop in between the right and left foot front behinds. We will try it at half speed. One, two, three and front behind and one, two, three and front behind and one, two, three and front behind and one, two, three. Let's just try that one more time at half speed and front behind and one, two, three and front behind and one, two, three and front behind and one, two, three. Once we have completed the right front behind, left front behind and right front behind, we're going to extend our left leg out straight in front of us with our toe pointed down. We then bring that extended leg back, placing the left foot behind the right foot then we raise our right leg up and bring it behind, placing the right foot behind the left foot. We now finish this sequence with a 1, 2, 3, 4 movement. 1, 2, 3, 4 will be mentioned quite frequently in this video whilst learning the jig. It is a short and quick sequence of foot placement in which the right foot already placed behind the left foot steps first, the left foot then stepping second in front, the right foot behind again for third and left foot finishing to complete the fourth. One, two, three, four. That completes the eight bars in the lead round of the light jig. We then repeat this sequence of eight bars to complete a full lead round. The lead around is known as such as the dancer dances in a semicircle pattern towards the front of the stage or platform for the first eight bars and then completes another semicircle back to where they started for the second eight bars to complete a full circle and lead around. We will now move on to the first step of the jig. 
Begin by stepping forward, placing all your weight onto the right foot, with the left foot tucked up behind. Then place the left foot down, keeping it behind, and bring the right leg back to complete the 1-2-3-4 movement that we learned in the lead around section. If you are unsure of the 1-2-3-4 movement, now is a good time to pause the video, go back and refresh your memory. Let's have another look at that sequence. Begin by stepping forward, placing all your weight onto the right foot, with the left foot tucked up behind. Then place the left foot down, keeping it behind, and bring the right leg back to complete the 1-2-3-4 movement that we learned in the lead around section. Moving on, we repeat this movement exactly three times. This step finishes in a similar fashion to the lead around, except this time we extend our right leg out straight in front of us. We then bring this leg back behind, placing the right foot behind the left foot. We then raise our left knee and bring the leg back to place our left foot behind the right foot and complete the 1-2-3-4 movement. This time the 1-2-3-4 movement begins on the left foot, with the left foot stepping first, then the right, then left, and then the right to finish the four. Let's have a look at all of that put together at half speed and try to put a little hop into the movements. Ready, one, two, three, and step and down, back one, two, three, four, and step and down, back one, two, three, four, and step and down, back one, two, three, four, right leg, out and back, back one, two, three, four. That completes the eight bars for the first step of the light jig. These movements are now repeated on the left foot. Now we will move on to the final step of the jig. We begin by extending the right leg out straight in front with a pointed toe. We then raise the extended right leg off the ground and place it back on the ground keeping our toe pointed. There should be a little hop here with both the extended leg and back leg landing together on the hop. We then raise the extended leg up high and straight out. Once the right leg is extended out, we bring it back behind, placing the right foot behind the left foot and completing the 1-2-3-4 movement we first learned in the lead round section. Let's have a look at this from a side angle. We repeat this sequence three times. We then complete this step in the exact same fashion as the first step with the right leg extended out, then back and one, two, three, four movement. That completes the final step of the jig. We will now dance all what we've learned to music. <laughs> This dance is known as the reel, and is also danced in a soft shoe. Just like in the jig section, we begin with the lead around. We point our toe, extend our right leg, and then we raise it slightly above the ground. Once the leg is in the air, we then jump or hop onto the ball of the right foot, placing all our weight on that leg. We then bring forward from behind our left leg and place our left foot to the floor switching weight briefly onto the left foot before putting the right foot down on the ground behind. 
This can be referred to as a jump 2-3, the 2-3 referring to the foot placement, exactly like the 1-2-3-4 in the jig section of this video. Let's see that short sequence again from a different angle. We point our toe, extend our right leg, and then we raise it slightly above the ground. Once the leg is in the air, we then jump or hop onto the ball of the right foot, placing all our weight on that leg. We then bring forward from behind our left leg and place our left foot to the floor, switching weight briefly onto the left foot before putting the right foot down on the ground behind. We then duplicate this sequence on the other foot. We do 8 of these in total, 4 on the right foot and 4 on the left foot. Let's try those 8 jumps at half speed in a lead around. 1, 2, 3, and jump 2, 3, 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 jump 2, 3. The next sequence of movements is known as a side step. It is not a full step and is merely a bridge between the lead round and the full step. It is also sometimes referred to as sevens, which will become apparent shortly. We start by bringing our right leg up past the left knee in front with a slight hop on the back foot that is placed behind the right foot. The hop from the left back foot counts as the first number in this seven sequence. We then bring our right leg down, placing our foot on the ground for the second number of the sevens. We then raise our back left leg up slightly and place it down again. This is three. We do the exact same on the right foot by raising our front left leg up slightly and placing it down again. This is four. We repeat this again on the left foot to become five and again on the right foot to become six. We finish this seventh sequence by placing the left foot down again, making sure it is still behind the right foot. I will refer to this movement again in the next two steps as the hop two, three, four, five, six, sevens. Let's have a look at all of that again. Hop two, three, four, five, six, seven. Moving on, at the end of this sevens or side step, we raise our right foot off the ground and do the jump to three movement from the lead around. We then do another jump to three movement on the left foot. Let's have a look at all of that again. Hop two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jump two, three, jump two, three. We then perform another jump on our right foot and bring our left leg forward to start the hop two, three, four, five, six, seven sequence, the exact same only to the left. We then finish with jump two threes first on the left and then on the right. Let's have a look at all of that again. Ready? And hop two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump two, three, jump two, three, jump two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump two, three, jump two, three. We will now move on to the first step of the reel. With our right leg, we point our toe with an extended leg and tap the ground in front. We then bring the right leg behind our left and point our toe downwards to touch the ground with our toe. We then have to hop a little and bring the right leg back to its original position and finish with the one, two, three that we are familiar with from the jig lead around. This can be referred to as point, toe and one, two, three. Let's have a look at that again. Point, toe and one, two, three. We then repeat this whole sequence on the left foot. We then bring our right leg up past our left knee and hop to the side for the seventh movement we looked at earlier. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once we finish this seventh movement, we complete the step with another point and toe, one, two, three, just like at the start of the step. Point, toe and one, two, three. Let's have a look at that together at half speed and remembering to hop in between movements. Point, 
and toe and one, two, three. Point and toe and one, two, three. Hop two, three, four, five, six, seven. Point and toe and one, two, three. We will now move on to the final step of the reel. We begin in a similar fashion to the light jig as we are going to bring our right leg up past the left knee in front and then behind towards the back. We then bring it forward again, stepping the right foot to the ground, then placing the left foot to the ground in front of the right foot in a skipping or hopping motion. Let's have a look at that again. We are going to bring our right leg up past the left knee in front and then behind towards the back. We then bring it forward again, stepping the right foot to the ground, then placing the left foot to the ground in front of the right foot in a skipping or hopping motion. Now we bring our right leg forward and up past our left knee for the hop two, three, four, five, six, seven movement like we learned in the previous step. Let's try that one more time. Now we bring our right foot forward, placing our foot in front of us. We then do the exact same on the left leg, placing the left foot in front of us. Then repeat this again on the right foot, finishing with the 2-3 movement like we saw in the leader round. This movement should look like three skips on the spot, ending with a 2-3. Skip and skip and skip 2-3. To finish this step, we then bring our left leg up past the right knee in front, and do the sevens movement on the left foot towards the left. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's have a look at this step again at half speed, remembering to hop in between the movements. One, two, three, front behind and skip and skip. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip and skip and skip, two, three. Hop, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that we have learned all the steps in the reel, let's try and put everything together with some music. That completes today's beginner introduction to Irish dancing. Thank you to Barry for demonstrating the movements and to Kevin for the music. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to keep practicing and most importantly, have fun. <laughs> <laughs>